Hi, this is Quantum Nomad. Welcome to my channel. Uh, so I like trading you for uh, many reasons and uh, it's really a nice tool, easy to use. You know, it's free, you can use it in your browser. And also it has a very, very nice developing language, PineScript. But unfortunately, there are a few things that irritates me quite a lot. And one of them is that actually you cannot run proper custom screeners in TrimView. So I created like a hack that allow you to use at least like 40 instruments and custom screeners, but still the screeners are quite limited. So I wanted to find the better solution, something that will allow me to run screeners for like hundreds of instruments without you know too much work and something that I also it's quite easy to use. So I found out uh, Trade Station and uh, their screeners, and I think um, it's quite interesting solution. So Trade Station actually is a broker. Start to start using uh, its tools, you have to create an account for you and fund it with, you know, I don't know, hundred bucks at least. And after that, you can use um, its features for free. And the nice part is that Trade Station has its own language. It's called Easy Language, and as you can get from the land <laughs> from the name, it's quite easy to use it. And I think uh, like for the free tool. It's quite impressive. So let's uh, take a look at it and I uh, will show you an example how you can use it. Uh, so here are all the tools of uh, Trade Station, and in this video I will show you this one called Radar Screen. So let's open it and see uh, how it looks. So here is the whole kind of uh, empty uh, screener, and from here you can start adding symbols you want to screen and also you can adjust uh, columns you want to see in your screener. So let's add a few things and uh, trade station support like stocks, you know, um, for example, let's, let's add Apple. Let's add some Forex like EURUSD, for example. And let's also, you can add cryptos as well. BTC USD, USD, for example. So as you can see, you add you can add multiple instruments, and um, it works. I think up to a thousand instruments for for a screener. And to add like multiple instruments, you can click right button, click um, you know data, add symbol list, and for example, we can add S and P five hundred index. And also in other symbol lists, you can find quite a lot of nice you know, lists of um, instruments. So let's add S&P 500 and you will see that um, Trade Station is quite fast and adding like hundreds of instruments. That's, you know, a like quantity. That's not a big uh, problem for a uh, Trade Station. Also, you can click uh, this uh, plus sign to add more columns uh, to your screener. And Trade Station has quite a lot of kind of um, implemented already indicators that you can just um, add to your chart but here we uh, came to see how custom code works so we'll add parabolic sar uh, custom code i already created um, for me so let's add it to chart so this is just a small uh, script that will output me parabolic sar parameters it should output what is parabolic uh, um, value and also uh, how many bars ago we had a cross for our parabolic SER. So now let's uh, prove that actually you can use kind of custom code in your screener. So now we'll go also go to studies, um, add study. I will find, you know, my parabolic SER custom a script I created and I will click edit easy language. And this will open another window for me. It uh, will uh, contain um, code of my indicator so I can adjust it. So here it is. Here's the code of my indicator. And as you can see, you know, it's quite simple for now. And just to uh, show you um, how it works, that actually you can edit your code and add some extra, you know, functionality to your screeners. I will adjust this code to add like another column. So let's create um, another column called um, trend and the logic of uh, this column will be a very simple so if close um, below um, my um, my value of uh, my parabolic sar uh, then uh, trend um, 
will be equal um, bool. I will use um, like a string variable for for my new um, for my new field, and else um, trend will be equal to uh, bear. So as simple as that. And now what I have to do is to use like a plot um, plot function to plot uh, my trend on my chart trend and here I will use um, trend name for it so that seems to be it so now I have to save it and after that I have to validate it verify it yes you can click on this button and it should run it and if there's any errors it will uh, show you that so head here I have I need to put like a semicolon and let's save it again Yes, it seems uh, to work now as you can see uh, my screener is updated and now we have another column just like that it's also quite easy to add uh, coloring uh, to uh, your uh, columns in your screeners so here is an example of how you can add uh, color so i will for example if trend my bull i want a green color of my column if trend is bear i want red color of my columns so let's add it so i will add another if so if trend equal to bool, um, then I will call uh, set uh, plot. Set plot uh, color function. I will use third plot and I will assign a green color to it. And um, after that, I will use else statements and here I will set plot color for third plot to be red let's add, let's add a semicolon here let's save it and verify it let's fix it here so this seems to be fine so let's check our screener and as you can see we have nice colors here for our uh, trend column Another super cool feature of uh, screeners in TradeStation is that you can easily add filters on top of them. So here, for example, on top you can see a few, um, few inputs, and here you can select, um, you know, any um, you know um, column you have in your screener. So here, for example, I want to my parabolic SCR crossbar to go uh, to be let's say above um, let's say 15 bars and immediately it will filter out and show me only um, you know instruments that um, correspond to my selection and also i can add multiple uh, selections here so here i can set like another um, another columns for example that net change is you know above um, let's say two percent and as you can see we immediately get results of our filtering in our screener so as you can see TradeStation has a really nice screeners you can use and it's quite easy so you I, it took me like a few minutes to adjust kind of existing indicators to add you know some columns to it and you can create pretty complex logic in inside this language as well is it like ideal to use TradeStation well I don't think so it's still it's a bit kind of old schoolish way of working so you need to kind of download uh, this tool to your Windows desktop, you need to install it. it it's, it's a bit slow at some points, but still, you know, if you want to use uh, you know custom screeners on you know hundreds of stocks, it's really hard to find uh, something better than uh, these uh, screeners. Uh, so I think that's all for this video. Let me know if you want to have like more content about TradeStation or Easy Language.